coming up on this episode of Inside the Epicenter. Well, what are some of the things that Iran is doing right now in the background that is causing such a focus on them as the, I would say, to use an old phrase, part of the axis of evil (laughs) in the region? You know, that is a real thing. Yeah. Well, the main thing is that Iran has been and continues to break the very deal that Mm. they made uh, with the Western powers. It wasn't just the United States, right? You know, President Obama felt that the Iranians needed an on-ramp back onto the highway of international respectability and friendship and commerce and so forth. He felt that they were sort of misunderstood and, yeah, we don't agree with them on a lot of things, but, okay, enough of the sanctions, and let's give them a way back, okay? Rodney now, King strategy. <laughs> well, you know, look, I try to deal with President Obama and, and Vice Pre- then Vice President Biden's view fairly mm. because it's not a minority view. Like Our European allies felt the same way. But that's why I contrast it with Netanyahu, because Netanyahu says, when you understand the nature of the, this unique regime in Iran, when you really read what they say and they believe, this idea that they're trying to bring about the end of the world as we know it, you realize they're not looking for an on-ramp. Mm. But they'll take it if you want to give them $150 billion in cash— and release them from certain sanctions so they can sell more oil and gas, they'll be happy to talk, have, you know, sit lattes or drink tea with you in Vienna or wherever and, you know, forever if it helps them advance their cause. So- 